Hi, my name is Lydia, and I'm making a video game about ADHD. ADHD is a mental condition where a person has a harder time focusing on certain tasks, is impulsive, and might be hyperactive. If you are someone with ADHD, it might be the reason you have difficulties in school, making or keeping friends, and find it hard to succeed. That's why I want to make a video game about ADHD, to help you understand if you have it, and if that is the case, to encourage you to see an ADHD specialist. If you already know you have ADHD, I want to help you understand your weaknesses and appreciate your strengths. The way the game works is that it shows different scenarios and symptoms that are related to ADHD and hopefully the player can relate to some of them. In the future I hope that more people understand ADHD as a whole and more people get the treatment that they need. Right now I know how to draw and I can learn how to animate myself and I have a story down but I don't know how to program my game, make music and I also need different people to voice my characters. If you're interested in my game, you can go to my website, charlottesmonsters.vogue.com. Um, my email is there too, so if you want to contact me and help me out, then there you go. My game is basically about Charlotte and Amy. Charlotte being a regular high school student with ADHD that she doesn't know about, and Amy representing her ADHD. She is kind of like Charlotte's imaginary friend, but she isn't completely imaginary. He, uh, Charlotte also has a friend named Robin. That's all I can say about her, really. <laughs> Most of the time, uh, the game settings are at Charlotte's home, the school, the school backyard, and the desert. As you can see, this is the game screen. <laughs> the game structure kind of looks like this, where you start at the comfort zone, where life is normal. It's also the part of the game where it's more like a visual novel. It slowly starts to move towards the triggering point, where you move to the modified reality, where it's, it's still reality, but there's like this uh, certain twist to it. And at some point, you go to the land of horror, where, no where nothing is real, but it basically represents Charlotte's struggles. Once Charlotte uh, um, defeats the monster as, like, gets over her struggles, she once again um, moves back to the comfort zone. And then this repeats until the end of the game. Some of the game episodes are like, for instance, where Charlotte loses her sleep. As you can see, there is a uh, blood bag with coffee in it. And another where she messes up in school and social anxiety, basically.